everybody. Welcome to the teachings of Joseph. I'm Cindy Edison. Today, I'm going to give you Joseph's perspective of what our purpose is individually and collectively and how to discover it. Every client I've spoken to over the past several months has asked many questions, of course, uh, about their own evolution and one they all had in common, which is what is my purpose? What am I supposed to be doing? I thought it was this, but it seems to keep changing and I see myself back at square one, headed in a new direction. Help, help, help. Anyway, this is a common feeling right now um, at this time of our collective evolution, and there are many reasons for that, and so we're going to tell you what our reason is. From our perspective, which is the perspective of the soul, whose purpose is to expand all its aspects, we are all moving forward, creating the new human aspect who will live on the new earth. In essence, one begets the other. Isn't that cool how I threw that Bible thing in there? (laughs) This is a simultaneous creation, the new human and the new earth. It's really cool. It's a great opportunity for all of us. In order for this human aspect to morph into its new and improved version, the fear vibration, or as we call it, the out of alignment vibrational pattern that we have experienced over eons of time must be moved beyond. This is a walk toward the expanded you. It's really a walk beyond the vibration where fear and out of alignment manifestations occur and it's moved beyond by way of our choosing, right? If you continue to choose out of alignment thoughts, you continue to manifest out of alignment experiences. Pretty simple, right? Kind of is, because it's all vibrational. So our work as it's called by so many of you, is really to corral, in effect, the aspects of us, the aspects that are us, who have lived in the physical experience over eons of time, and who have experienced these out of alignment patterns, and to shift them back into alignment, so the all of us, of you as this current human collective, can joyfully move forward and create the new you in its physical form, right? We don't go to the new earth as this human, right? We have been living in fear way too long to do that. So we have a little shedding to do. We've likened it to the shedding uh, of a snake's skin, right? It's almost like um, taking off a fine netting that has been part of our vibration all these eons of time. I wanna say years, but we're talking thousands and thousands of years, thousands and thousands of experiences in the contrasting vibration. So recently, this morning actually, I was reviewing book two in the Allow Your Soul to Lead series. And in the overview section, Joseph gives us an analogy to better understand how the aspects of the soul all work together for the good of the all. They refer, I thought this is so cool, they refer to the collective soul as an orchestra, right? The current human aspect, which is us, as the conductor, and the aspects who have visited the physical realm and experienced other vibrational timelines These are aspects of us, the human collective, the human individual aspect, as the instruments. You get that? The soul is the orchestra, is everything. It's like the pumpkin pie analogy, if you've heard us before. So the soul is the orchestra. The human aspect is the conductor. And the aspects of us who are in their non-physical vibrational form, still vibrating on these other timelines that we have experienced, are the other instruments. I just think that's so cool. Anyway, when all are in tune, the piece is being played as purposed, as it was written, right? If there's one one instrument out of tune, or as we say, out of alignment, it changes the trajectory and the experience of the music. It changes the piece. Doesn't sound the same, right? So it's then the conductor's responsibility, that's the you in this scenario and the me in this scenario, to bring that instrument, that other aspect, that frequency, 
back into alignment with the group so the piece can unfold as it was planned and written, just as we have collectively written our events throughout our eternal journey. Isn't that awesome? I love that analogy. So it's time to bring everybody in. Anyway, our collective purpose at this time is in fact the individual underlying purpose as well, and that is to bring all your aspects into alignment so the whole of you, the human aspect of your soul, can move forward toward the new you who is waiting for you in the vibration of the new earth. This vibration that Joseph represents not only carries the vibration of the uh, non-physical new earth and everything that goes with that, can you imagine the size of that? We're also sitting up there with it. The new human is sitting there with it in its non-physical form. So it's up to us to get out there, or some would say up there, to mingle with it, to have vibrational agreement with it, so we can morph into this new human species. Isn't this cool? Anyway, all of our purposes, our individual purposes, play out in their own unique way. You've heard us say this before. We are so unique that there are no two alike. Our, vi our fingerprints are manifestations of our unique vibrations. So we all are going to experience this differently. However, there is a collective human purpose here, which is the expansion of the human aspect collective in order to move into the new earth vibration. We need to Include, we need to expand to it so we can include it in our vibration. It doesn't come down to us. We go up or out, as we say, to it, right? We expand to it to include it. It's almost as if we are trees. Let me see where I'm going with this. It's almost as if we are trees and we're not picking up our trunk. We're now picking up our trunks and moving into the new soil. However, our current makeup doesn't agree with the new soil on the new earth, so we have to accommodate the new vibration before we can be planted there. Oh, thanks, Joseph. That was kind of cool. You get that? So we are accommodating, morphing into, including in our own vibration, the new earth vibration. And there's no fear there, so we have to get rid of all the fear, right? We move beyond it. That's what we say. So the first order of business is for each of us to bring our aspects into alignment with us, who we have evolved into, so to speak, so we as collective individuals can move more into alignment with our soul. By focusing on this movement, which is our own expansion, we move forward together and simultaneously assisting in the creation of the new human who is formed by way of our expansion. It's a big circle. We expand, our soul expands, we expand to our new expansion. It's all about vibrational expansion. It's our expansion into the awareness of the vibration where our new human is housed, so to speak. This sounds a little complicated, I know that, but it's really not. Joseph has referred to us, the current human aspect, and the most evolved physical aspect who has ever lived as the captain of our other aspects who have lived on other timelines. Now, some of you have done past life regressions. I'm one of them. I did it fabulous experience. And you have even met some of your other aspects. And in some cases, you continue to experience their vibrations, not the experiences, you're experiencing the vibration of the experiences. This is where a lot of the fear is now coming up. And this is indication of an aspect who is asking for expansion to where you currently are. So let me say this in another way. Maybe I can make it a little more simple. So the soul is the expanded version of us and every aspect of itself, right? So in our scenario, the soul is the expanded version of us. We are the expanded version of our other aspects who are those who are non-physical vibrations of us who are still vibrating on the timelines that they, we really, experienced in the physical realm. 
that you experienced as them. We can make, uh, you know, I know this sounds circular and it's really not. I'm going to leave it there and maybe you can hit rewind, but you'll get this. This is like a, it's an evolution of a, it's an evolution of expansion. That's what it is. And there are many, many events and there's many pieces to it. Let me see if I can make it a bit more palpable if I describe it this way. If you were to look at the aspects of you in this current lifetime, you will see different awareness levels, right? You had an awareness of who you were at the age of five, and then another one at the age of 15, and then another one at the age of 25, and a bunch in between, and so on, and wherever you are now is the most expanded awareness of who you are now as the human aspect. So as you have evolved as the human aspect on this current timeline, you have experienced those other timelines, the 5, 15, 25 timelines. All timelines carry a level of awareness, right? So there are unlimited aspects of you who are simply vibrating in their own non-physical form on other timelines that you have experienced in the physical realm. Okay. (laughs) Take a breath. Okay. So as we ask for expansion from the expanded version of us, who is our soul, the other non-physical aspects of us who are moving forward as us, as the vibrational pieces of us are asking for expansion too, from us. You see, we ask for more awareness from our soul and our other vibrational aspects ask for more awareness from us the current them, you see. (laughs) It's wild. I hope this is making sense. Um, It can get a little balled up. In fact, when Joseph began explaining this to me, I had this vision of a huge tangled ball of Christmas lights. You know, it really seemed fitting at the time. I knew they were all connected um, and I knew it had to be untangled and it, you will untangle it in your unique way, just like I did. But the Christmas light ball was really fitting at the time. So I know how the explanation can sound, but I promise you, once you get this, you'll be at more at peace about what your purpose is. Because this is, um, the confusion about your purpose is out of alignment. And so we are assisting in moving us all back into alignment so we can see what our purpose is. Okay, that's where the revelation is. So all that to say that our purpose at this time, individually and collectively, is to move into our unique human aspects out of the realm of fear and into the new vibration of the new earth where peace and joy and abundance awaits. Doesn't that sound beautiful? (laughs) And probably not what most of you want to hear. And here's why. I get it. Up to this point, you know, we could go to a card reader or a psychic or a channeler in hopes of finding out what our purpose is and what's coming, you know, what's around the turn, what's around the bend that we can't see. And uh, and we would most likely move forward based on their advice. I've been to many wonderful readers, many wonderful seers who can instantly experience other timelines. Now, everything's changed. There are no predictions anymore. We are moving way too quickly. The vibration and the momentum for this shift has moved us into a new category of manifestations where when you are in alignment and focused on alignment, your probability for instantaneous manifestation is there. And everything you want, including the ability to including the ability uh, to see and live out your purpose is found in alignment. It's all in alignment. It's sitting there because your alignment is now on a different timeline. Your alignment has shifted to a higher timeline. So we need to get to it. So your purpose, my purpose, and all purposes who are living is to come into alignment with your soul. And you must take the all of you, the collective human aspect of the soul, of your soul. None of us, the collective or individual us, is ever left behind as we move forward. Because you as the collective individual aspect 
cannot move fully into alignment and take on, so to speak, the vibration of your soul if there is any fear in yours. Here's what will happen when you do this, though. When you, when you f- take the time to focus on your alignment and, and make choices that keep you in alignment and move you toward alignment, and we're certainly not saying that you can't be out of alignment. We are in the world of contrast. We're in and out of alignment all the time. The recognition of your in alignment state or your out of alignment state is what's important here and knowing how to move yourself into the higher vibrations or as we say, the more expanded vibrations. This, our dear friends, is our journey to the new earth. It is one from the space of alignment and once you understand the power you have from this space of alignment, all else will seem futile and you'll focus in that space simply to feel the vibration of it. This is a space of loving creation where what you call your future is vibrationally waiting for you, but you must prepare yourself for the change. We are in a transformation mode right now and you as a teacher, a powerful teacher and way shower must transform first so you can lead others forward. This is your purpose. As you begin spending more and more time in this space, ideas and opportunities will be revealed to you. You don't have to do anything but that is to focus on your own alignment. It's all in there. The more of it you see, the more of it is revealed to you. This is the path of the journey you constructed prior to your incarnation during this time. It's of a higher vibration and you must bring yourself to it. It doesn't come to us, right? It's there waiting and pulsating and calling out to us. It's just, that's why Joseph picked the lighthouse. It's that consistent, bright light that is there all the time. You can't mess it up. You're either in it or out of it. And if you're out of it, just step back in. This is what the this is what the journey is at this time is the recognition of your own alignment. This is all vibrational and the existence you are moving into is vibrational too. So of course, we suggest you take this pathway and discover more of who you really are. All you want to know, all you want to experience and all you have set out as your intentions are waiting for you in this space of alignment. Remember what Abraham says, one in alignment is more powerful than a million who are not. And that is you (laughs) and me and everybody. If we all, if every single human aspect living on earth today, experiencing the contrast for 60 seconds was in alignment with their soul, we would be experiencing the new earth in that moment. This is not about the time it's going to take to get there. This is not about how long um, you have to wait or how long you have to do this for. This is a a question of when are you going to get into alignment or, or not. That's what it's about. So I guess we've given you enough to contemplate for today. This is the way, guys. This is the calling from the vibration of the new earth. And we are in for some adventure. Boy, it's going to be really fun. Check us out at theteachingsofjoseph.com and follow us on Instagram at theteachingsofjoseph for Joseph's daily quotes. We love those. Also, I am adding to our teaching podcasts on our YouTube channel as fast as I can too. So check those out too when you have time. And if you like the content, please subscribe. We appreciate it. Anyway, thanks for listening, everybody. We love you guys. Hang with us through this transformation. It's going to be wonderful and it's something we haven't experienced before, which is makes it easier when we all go together. You know, we're all assisting each other, learning from each other and sharing our experiences. Anyway, Joseph is assisting and leading us on the way. So as always, welcome aboard. <music>